Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa, and today we're going to read another story about dragonflies. It's called Dragonflies by, by Julie Murray. Millions of insects live throughout the world. They are found on the ground, in the air, and in the water. Insects have existed before there were dinosaurs. Dragonflies are one type of insect. They live near lakes, ponds, and streams. You may even find dragonflies in a city or in your backyard. A dragonfly's body may be red, green, or blue. It has white, yellow, or black markings. Like all insects, dragonflies have three main body parts. These are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. A dragonfly's head has a mouth, two very large eyes, and three smaller eyes. Six legs and four wings connect to the thorax. A dragonfly's abdomen is very long. Important organs are inside. The dragonfly life cycle has three stages. These are the egg, larva, and adult. Dragonfly larvae are called nymphs. Dragonflies begin life as eggs. After mating, the mother dragonfly lays her eggs. The father may help her do this. Sometimes dragonflies lay eggs on plants near water. Other times they place them underwater. Inside an egg, a dragonfly nymph quickly grows. It usually hatches within one to three weeks. Dragonfly nymphs live in calm, fresh water, such as ponds or marshes. There, they hunt, eat, and grow. Some nymphs spend about one year underwater. Others can live there for five years. Nymphs have gills. This allows them to breathe underwater. Dragonfly nymphs are hunters. They eat worms, tadpoles, and even small fish. Nymphs have a special mouth part called a mask. It stretches out to catch prey. As nymphs eat, their bodies grow bigger. They shed their skin many times. This is called molting. As nymphs molt, wings begin to form. A nymph's mask has hooks at the end. These help it catch and hold prey. When a nymph is fully grown, it crawls out of the water. Most crawl up the stem of a plant. Then it sheds one last time. Shedding skin is hard work, so a dragonfly takes breaks to rest. After it sheds a final time, the dragonfly is a full-grown adult. At first, its wings are wet and wrinkled. The dragonfly pumps blood into them. This helps harden them so it can fly. New and adult dragonflies must be careful. They are not yet strong enough to protect themselves by flying away, so many predators look for them. It can take several hours for a dragonfly's wings to dry and stretch out. Adult dragonflies live near water. They usually live from a few weeks to a year. During this time, dragonflies hunt for food. They also mate. They rest in hidden or safe areas. Adult dragonflies spend much of their lives in the air, but sometimes they rest on plants. Dragonflies are powerful predators. Their bodies are made to help them find and catch food. Their eyes allow them to see movement well. Their legs help them catch and hold on to prey. Sometimes they eat their prey in mid-air. A dragonfly's wings help it move quickly from place to place. Wings allow a dragonfly to move up, down, forward, backward, and sideways. Wings also help a dragonfly hunt. They allow it to pause in mid-air and change direction. So a dragonfly can easily chase and catch prey. A dragonfly has two sets of wings. Many are so thin you can see through them. 
During every stage of life, dragonflies face predators. These include fish, spiders, birds, turtles, and frogs. Insects hunt dragonflies too. Sometimes large dragonflies eat smaller ones. Frogs use their tongues to grab nearby dragonflies. Birds catch dragonflies in their strong beaks. Raccoons often live near water. Sometimes they snack on dragonflies. Dragonflies use their powerful bodies to protect themselves. They can fly away fast to escape predators. If caught, they can bite to fight back. Dragonflies are such good flyers that they can escape most predators, but when they can't fly away, they hide. Dragonflies do important work in the natural world. They eat insect pests such as mosquitoes and gnats. By doing this, they help control insect populations. This keeps nature in balance and protects life on Earth. Thanks for learning a little bit more about dragonflies with me. Remember, if you liked the video, to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.